I'm now the rabbit and uh, I'm the sacrificial rabbit. In 2020, me and Ed did the Gold Rush Rally uh, as Team Mod Find. We decorated the Audi S6 as a German police car, and we went gallivanting around the, uh, the West, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and really, because of COVID was there, you really couldn't have the normal parties and, and normal populated areas. So uh, we had a great time visiting national parks, driving some of the best roads in the country, and we ended in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So if you've ever been to Jackson Hole, I mean, it's a hole, there's not much there. It's a, it's a pretty small town. The airport is tiny, it's beautiful, but uh, this creates a logistical problem as far as getting the cars home and flying home. And I was weighing my options, it's 1,300 miles home, I just got done doing a rally. Do I really wanna drive this car back? Do I really wanna pay to ship it back? How do I get back? You know, there's not many flights out of Jackson Hole. So I made a decision that although my car was brightly wrapped as a German police car and uh, quite an attention getting uh, setup, I figured I'm just gonna drive the thing home the 1300 miles, save myself the airfare, save myself the transportation. I ended up taking all back roads in Wyoming, which was just fantastic. The scenery in Wyoming is wonderful anywhere from snow-capped mountains to canyons to uh, wide open plains. It was, uh, it was simply really a great drive. So once I got to South Dakota, I realized that, well, I probably ought to get, get my uh, move on and get on the interstate and uh, get this show on the road. You know, South Dakota is pretty wide open. I had seen what I wanted to see. Now it's time to just get home. Most people who know me realize that I drive very safely and I'm not some psychopath out on the road. To me, there's a time and a place to speed and you won't catch me weaving in and out of traffic. I don't subscribe to any of that. But when the roads are wide open, like I get going, I fly. And I'm sure we've all been on these trips where we're driving down the road and here comes this guy driving real fast and we're like, oh, there's the rabbit, chase the rabbit. You know, let this guy go ahead of you, let him take the ticket. You know, clearly you'll see his brake lights uh, if there's a cop up there and you know, it can make some good time with very minimal risk. So I'm on 90 in South Dakota. There's not much going on in South Dakota. Let me tell you, uh, especially during COVID, the roads were wide open, it was beautiful. And I was really, I was really moving. And when I, I'm driving, watching ways, dodging speed traps, I got my brake lights off. You know, so if I see a speed trap, hit the brakes, the police won't see the brake lights, you know, no one will be any of the wiser. So I'm making great time across South Dakota and I'm, I realize way back behind me, I'm starting to see some cars following me. And I uh, really didn't think anything of it. You know, this is, this is typical kind of thing that happens when you're driving fast, you'll, you'll start to get some people, you know, following you behind. I'm now the rabbit and uh, I'm the sacrificial rabbit as it may be. And uh, what I didn't realize was this thing that I'm going to dub the cannonball rabbit effect. And I learned about it when I got to the east side of South Dakota. I went to the gas station and I'm filling up and a guy walks up to me as I'm leaving and says, hey, he's like, you're, you're that cannonball guy. And you know, I saw you on the road and, and I, was, I was way back behind following you. And he's like, I don't know if you saw but the guy that was directly behind you got hit by that, that last speed trap. And I'm like, oh wow, he, he did? And then it hit me. With me as the rabbit out in front, I'm, I don't, I'm not using my brake lights. I'm way out front. He's expecting if there's a speed trap or something, he's going to see me slowing down. Well, he didn't see me slowing down. And we were moving at a pretty good clip. So I'm imagining he caught a pretty big speeding ticket behind me, unfortunately. And this is something that I never realized. And uh, now, I, boy, I just, I feel terrible for it. So I do remember the last speed trap that I caught at the last second and slowing down and, and saving myself from a speeding ticket. I had passed a number of people, so I don't know who it was. It was like a dark Lincoln or something that was back there behind me who ended up not seeing me slow down and ended up getting pulled over, according to this guy who uh, stopped to talk to me about it. And uh, 
boy, I just, I, I feel regretful that this happened. And, I, and now I look back, like, how many other times have I done this to people uh, unknowingly? I did get a, a bit of karma, though, later in the trip, and I, I broke my cardinal, cardinal rule of cannonballing as uh, I was talking on the phone with my mom at one in the morning in Wisconsin, and I was doing a good job of dodging the speed traps there, which are tough. These, these troopers sit in the center median, lights off, they move around a lot, and I ended, they ended up getting me on the way back, a couple hours from home, so I, I guess I, I got my payback for that, but uh, I'd say after 20,000 miles of, of pretty fast driving in 2020 in the Audi, I guess I was due. So all of these things that Ed has talked about of, of kind of like calming down the situation when you're pulled over and, and smoothing things over absolutely worked, and I'm guessing that probably didn't happen for the guy who, uh, who got caught up in uh, my aftermath. We all love Amazon, but most of us have had that experience where you buy something with a lot of glowing reviews that shows up and it's just a piece of garbage and it wasn't what you thought you were buying. Unfortunately, Amazon can be full of bad actors and fake reviews and things that just don't live up to what you think is gonna come in a day or two after you order it. That's why New on Amazon has been developed. It was developed by Patrick Cupolari, a friend of the channel, a good storyteller who's talked about BMWs and McLaren F1s and things like that. And he's a huge e-commerce expert and you can learn more about that on his YouTube channel. But he built a site of trusted sellers well-reviewed products and things that he actually knows will show up looking the way that you want them to. And so it's a great way to filter out some of the noise and some of the bad products that you might otherwise discover on Amazon. So check out New on Amazon at the link in the description below and thank them for supporting Venwiki this month.